Hello, Christine Halsey here, and today we're going to look at the week five lab. And first I go to the lab overview tab. Scroll down a little bit. It's telling me here we're going to be what we're going to be doing. But I need the instructions. And I need the lab report document. Okay, now I'm going to go back up and go to modules and run the week five modular elab. So we're looking at using functions this week. Functions and subroutines. Subroutines are pieces of code that we call and they go out and perform a certain function. Functions are similar but then they can return information back to the main program so we can use them as the um, value of a variable. Okay, I'm waiting on the computers to get ready. Okay, and they want us to start by opening Notepad and going to File, Open, and it says scripts.pctest.cmd, but we're actually going to go to C colon, and they don't have a scripts folder, they have a Comp230 folder. And we want pctest.cmd. And so this is the, it's a batch file menu that clears the screen and then prints our menu and then waits for the user to enter their choice. So if you want to look more in detail at the different commands on there, um, pause and read through what's in the lab and it steps you through what each line is doing. Okay, we're going to move on to task two, which is open pctest.vbs. This is a CMD or a command line file. And it's not a script file. So now we're going to open the actual script that that program, the command line program calls, which is pctest.vbs. And we'll look here real quick. I'll show you where it calls pctest.vbs and it passes it the menu choice. Okay, so in this PC test.vbs, they use case statements to go through the different menu options. And with each menu option, you then it goes out and executes the code. What we're going to do is make this program more readable easier to follow and easier to troubleshoot if there's any problems in it, uh, easier to edit if we have to come back and make any changes. All right, so again, the lesson walks you through each of the options and tells you more about them. 
We're going to go run it real quick and make sure it works. So I need my command prompt window. I'll navigate to my comp 230 folder. And I'm running the CMD file, not the VBS file. So I'm not going to C script. I'm just going to run PC underscore test dot CMD. Here are my different, here's my menu with my different options and I'm just going to go through and pick one at a time and make sure that it is actually going to PC test and passing it that option and it is. There's my information about my computer, information about the memory, the operating system. printers, the hard drives, any drives attached really, and then I can quit. All right, so, so far I've just opened those two files and I just ran it and wanted to make sure it works. Now I'm on to task three, which is making this program modular. All right, so we'll be rewriting the five tasks and separate, make them subroutines. So we're going to save this program or this script as mod one. underscore PC and then I take out that underscore test dot VBS okay we're gonna cut and copy all of the code for case one and then make it into a subroutine All right, so I'm going to select all of this and edit, cut. You can see it goes up to my clipboard. Don't click on that, leave it alone. And I need to go to the bottom of this file. down below the end select and I'm going to put in sub system underscore information then I'm going to tab in and paste so you can see over here we have sub system information we pasted that routine or that module here and then we'll end sub so i'm going to come back to the beginning if not if i don't click in the right window and end sub now i'm also going to come up here and make a note and tell myself that subroutines are below here. So I just know that that's where I'm placing all my subroutines. And this one was case one. Okay, 
and then I'm going to come down and I'm actually going to make a place for case two. And case two is going to be called sub system memory size. So I'm now ready to come put this one where it needs to go. And I'm going to scroll back up. And we'll do all the calls when we get finished. Let's just copy the routines right now. This one, I'm going to select everything in case two, including the next. Actually, I'm supposed to cut it. I forgot. Cut. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom. And I had tabbed over. And I'm going to paste. And in sub. And come make a place for case three. And case three is OS underscore version. And I'll tab over and I'm ready to come paste case three. Wrong scroll bar. So I'm going to come up and cut case three. And scroll down. Oops, didn't get to the bottom. And paste that where I made my place for case three. In sub, come down and make a place for case four. And case four is called printers with an S underscore status. And I'll tab over and get ready to paste case four. Case four is about the longest one. It helps if you can see it all on the screen when you start copying. So cut four and scroll on down to here. I'm going to paste it there. And in sub, make the spot for case five. And case five is called logical underscore HDD underscore information. Tab over and get ready to come paste the last one. So I'll cut that one and bring it down and paste it. And sub. And I'm almost ready. to come back up the top 
Now, I put all these subroutines down here, but I have not used them. So I have to go use them. I have to call them. So up here under my cases, instead of having that information, now I am going to call that information. So for case one, it's called system information. I have to make sure I spell them right. Number two is called system memory size. Number three is call OS version. Four is printers with an S underscore status. And number five is call logical underscore HDD underscore information. Okay, so I'm going to save this. Come to PCTest.CMD and I have to change what program it called. So instead of calling PC test, I now want it to call mod one underscore PC test dot VBS. So I'm making sure that this file name matches the name on this folder here. Or this file here, not folder, sorry. Okay, so I'll save that. I'm going to come back to my command prompt window. Navigate back to a Comp 230 folder and again rerun PC underscore test dot CMD. Now, if I did everything right, this still works. If not, I made some mistakes in spelling, and it's going to tell me. Number one, good. Number two, good. Number three, good. Number four, good. Number five, good. And quitting, excellent. All right, so I think we finish, and now we want to copy mod one PC test. We're going to copy this on to our um, report. I I think I'm just going to try to copy up to case two and see if that'll all fit on one page. Oh, I forgot to do my double copy. Uh, all right, so I copied it up there. Now I have to control C and copy it again. And then come paste it. And it looks like case two did fit on that page. And we'll go get the other cases. Case three, four, and five. Double copy and paste those almost all fit on that page um so what i might do on that 
is make my font just a little bit smaller. There you go, and you can see the bottom of it. All right, now what they're wanting here for the run, all right, we'll have to go back to the command prompt window. Navigate back to the Comp 230 folder. And we're going to run pctest.cmd. And I'm going to copy this. I get it white. I hit enter. That brings it over to my clipboard so I can control C and copy. And then I'm going to come put it here. All right, then I'm going to go enter choice one. Not there, over here. And I'm going to get that little part right there. Again, I hit enter, copies it over there, and then control C. And I can paste it here. Now I'm going to go do choice two. Okay, it was being a little funny. Now I'm just, I'm not going to recopy the menu. I'm just going to get this part that shows I chose choice two. Enter, control C, and then paste. So now I got choice one and choice two. Now I'm going to go to choice three. And again, I'm just going to get this part here that shows my choice. Enter, Control C. All right, I'm going to come back and get four. Four is the one with all the printers. So it's perfectly all right if you just get like the first little bit. Enter, Control C. And I think it'll fit. Yeah. They've given me a second page for the run. So if you happen to <coughs> have selected all of the Printer 4, put it on this page. Alright, it's acting funny again, and we'll get our last choice. Choice 5. Copy that. Enter. Control C. And there we go. Okay, so I'm done with that for now. I'll come back when I'm ready to do P my two PC test. Alright, I can close this out, exit, and move on to my next task. Okay. Now we have all these subroutines, we're going to put them in what's called a library 
In other words, I know these subroutines work, and if I want to be able to use them in future programs, I can go put them in a library, and then I can call my library and use any of the routines that are in my library. All right, so our first step is resaving our program. So we're going to do a save as. And I'm going to call it mod 2 underscore PC test dot VBS. And then I'll highlight all the procedures. And I'm having trouble with my cursor up there. Give me a second. Let's see if I, no, that didn't help. Alright, I've got to be able to copy and well, it must be easier to when I'm going to start at the top and it's a slow process, it scrolls down through all the different cases. I'm going to cut those. Then I'm going to create a new file. And paste that into there. And then I'm going to save this as. Make sure it's in my Comp230 folder. And this is our PCT underscore library dot VBS. And there we go. Okay, now it's not quite that easy. Now we've got to go back into our mod to PC test and call our library. So I'll set the FSO, the file system object to create object and I want a scripting dot files system object and then we're going to set our VBS lib To equal our FSO open text file and our file is C colon backslash and they say scripts but it's not scripts it's comp 230 backslash and then the name of the file pct underscore library dot vbs comma one comma false and we look more at that in the week six and opening and creating text files 
Then we make a variable called library subs, and that's going to be equal to a read all of our VBS lib. So it's going to read everything from VBS lib and put it in library subs, and then we can use it in this program. And then we'll close the library. Okay, so that's our last changes, and then we need to execute, there we go, e Execute global library subs. <laughs> All right, so we're going to save this. And I'm going to go back to make sure I saved my library. All right, it's good. And now I've got to go back to the command line program that we're calling to start with and change that to mod 2. PC test. So the menu calls the mod2 PC test. The mod2 PC test then calls and sets up our libraries to use. All right, so if we did all this right, the last page is retesting it. So I'll come back to the window and navigate back to comp Just making sure I know what it told me to do here. All right, so we want to run the command file PC underscore whoops PC underscore test dot CMD. All right, if I set up and called my library and did all of that right, then again I should still work, and I'm going to copy these choices as we go if they work. Oops. Bad file name or number. On line six. Oh, whoops. It didn't like that. So I'll try it 
try it again. Okay, it doesn't like something here. Well, that was on my previous page. Oh, because apparently I can't spell library. L I B R A R Y. Yeah. <laughs> Most of our mistakes at this point are spelling mistakes, or my mistakes anyway. Let's go back and try it one more time. All right, so now I've got that one. I'm going to copy this. for my report. So I'm going to hit enter and control C and it wants the program first but I'm going to scroll down to here for the run and paste that there. And I'm going to get number two. Highlight, enter, control C, go paste. Okay, I must have done something else. All right, three. Highlight, enter, control C. Now for number four, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just get my first printer. Oops. Looks like I missed two to uh, forget to do my double copy. I thought I got it there. Let me. And then five may not fit on that page. I can bring it down here. Okay, so I was having a lot of difficulty there. Now I got number five. Enter, control C. And now all I have to do is come back and copy my library and my two PC tests. So I'm going to copy my two first. Do my double copy, control C, control C. And that's for the library. 
Here's my two PC test. And last step is to come copy the library. Again, I can edit, select all, edit, copy, and make that a little easier. And then control C again. Don't forget that last part. And then come down and paste the library. And it's telling you it's a little too big, but if you take it and select what you can see and drop your font down as small as possible. It helps a little, but not much. Don't worry about it. As long as you've got it all in there, I can move the window to see the rest. So it's not that big a deal as long as I can see that your cases are in there and you're doing okay. All right. Submit your report and you're now done with the week five lab report. And to submit, we come back to the week five lab tab down under assignments and you'll be able to submit it here. Thank you.